Capricorn placements, how do you do? Capricorn, let's see what we have for you. We have counseling. Maybe that's what I will do for you. But let's see, let's see what this energy is about counseling, huh? Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Knight of Wands, very uh, young or inexperienced energy here. And you know I'm leaning towards uh, a different perspective and the Nine of Pentacles. I see. Okay. You have reached a point where everything that you've been doing, it's something based on what you already know, meaning that you have a certain perspective that you have lived your life with or that you've um, based your life decisions on. It's telling you it's time to change up. It's time to look for something different, not to change what you're doing, but to gain a different perspective. This gaining another perspective will allow you to expand whatever you are doing into another level. I'm getting a mentor. And maybe this is what counseling is about, meaning that talk to someone that is in your field. This can be in regards to career or job or whatever, but it could be in life in general where you get in touch with someone that has a different perspective than yours and learn something from them. Because you need that different perspective in order to be inspired to expand your knowledge. All these cards, page, page, night, these are like the student's cards, you know, like... Uh, you need to be in that energy. Maybe you are already aware of that and you're kind of like wanting to learn something new, wanting to um, kind of widen your horizon and see what's out there that you don't know of, which is great. You know, it's telling you to do more of that. And the mentor thing, I feel it's, it's also about expanding your network, talking to people that have similar mindset, but also different possibly even opposing mindset than you so that you can learn something new about the the type of people that exist around you you know what i mean um so uh, this reminds me of a of a quote um if you are the smartest person in the room then you are not around the right crowd because it's it's almost like if you have mastered whatever that you have been doing it's time for you to step into a unknown territory in order to become even better now it doesn't mean that you will forget what you learned and change into something totally new no it's it's to expand your knowledge even further it's almost like you reached a level of mastery but then when you expand your perspective or you look at different perspectives, you even go higher. You know what I mean? And you are in this, like I feel like you are at a phase in your life where this learning uh, experience is very open to you. Maybe this is because uh, Pluto is going to change into Aquarius soon. So that could do something for you. But even if that was not the case, this is a good time for you to learn new things, to explore new opinions and opposing opinions even, so that you can gain that different perspective. So that you... It's like, you know when you are just biased and you just know one thing and you know it's right but that's one thing but then you learn about different things 
And you're like, oh, okay, so I can expand on my knowledge about this thing through the opinions of others. I don't have to take their whole truth, but I can get inspired to expand what I already know. You know what I mean? It's, it's this mentality that is being offered to you. So make the most of it, is what I want to say. Make the most of it. I do sense that some of you will start a new project that will be totally different than your usual stuff, but it's telling you go for it because it's like, it, like where's the harm in that? You know, you need new projects, new uh, skills, new um, way of thinking. So it's encouraging you to do that. If you have been rigid or too much in your way, it's time to change that. It's time to experiment. It's time to play in the background. Play in the background? Play in the playground? Playground, thank you. So it's time to get in touch with your younger self. And um, it's almost like be the student again so that you learn something new that could freshen up your uh, view on things not saying again not saying that whatever you've been doing and whatever you've been thinking is wrong no this is to expand your knowledge not to take away your knowledge okay oh hi let's see the pro let's see the prominent energy of the people surrounding you <sighs> prominent energy of the people surrounding capricorn energy of the people surrounding Capricorn. We have the Magician. They could have Gemini in their chart, Scorpio in their chart, or Aquarius. I'm also getting Virgo. We have Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords, And the High Priestess, they could also have Pisces in their chart. Mm. <sighs> Is this family? Yes. You know, I had a feeling. Now, family could be like husband, wife, child, son, daughter, uh, cousin, auntie, uncle. Right? So, it feels like this person is not happy about something. They could have mental issues or they could be like mentally challenged at this time and they are losing their touch with reality. They need your help. This person could look like they don't need anyone's help, but they do. This is the type of person that doesn't know how to ask for help. Yeah. They don't know how to ask for help. They could be doing so things that make no sense, meaning they could be doing things that are sometimes out of character, and you're like, oh, strange but you don't think deeply of it, you should think deeply of that. Because this is like their body trying to retaliate against themselves or against them. So how can Capricorn help this person? I mean, it's quite simple, really, but we're taking that to the extended, okay? Uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we have the Six of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Nine of uh, Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Three of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. And the question was, Capricorn, how can you help this person? We will take this to the extended we will talk about um, how you can help this person 
because I do see that they are needing your help. And I feel, I don't know why specifically you and not someone else. Obviously, you know, we're doing a reading for you. But yeah, yeah, this person needs help. And I feel it's like they're slowly losing their shit. So they need you. And even if they don't say they need anyone, that's more, that's, that's more reason for them to need you. Uh, obviously, we'll pull more cards and see where this goes. Uh, I do want to see what's bugging them, what's making them like this. So I'm going to look into that as well. But the extended will be uh, in the description box. I will see you there.